This is Hillary Crawford with the Florida Division of Cultural Affairs. Due to current circumstances, many of our grantees have expressed concerns about meeting the deliverables in their current 2020 grant award agreement. If you are unable to meet your deliverables, you may need to submit a change order. A change order is a form in DOS grants that allows grantees to request changes to their executed grant award agreement. Once approved by your program manager, the change order will become an amendment. All amendments must be signed by the grantee and uploaded into the online grant system in order to be executed. Changes are not reflected in dosgrants.com until the amendment has been executed. You must amend your grant before the end of the grant period. Now that you know what a change order is, let's take a minute to talk about when you may need to submit a change order. You will start by logging into your account at dosgrants.com. You will need to access the grant details page of your 2020 grant. You can do this by selecting My Grants from the Grants dropdown and selecting your 2020 grant from the list. Once you have navigated to your grant details page, scroll down to the section entitled Forms and Reports. In this section, you will find your contract details form. The contract details form was the document used to set up your current grant award agreement. By viewing the contract details form, you can see the specific requirements for your 2020 grant. The contract details page consists of four tabs. We will be looking at the first three. The first tab is the deliverables and documentation section. The deliverables are the tasks associated with each of the four payments and the documentation that is required as proof that each deliverable task has been completed. All grantees had the same deliverable and documentation for payment one, and at this time, all first payments should have been requested and paid. Looking at deliverables two through four, you will only need to consider deliverables that have not been met, as once you have been paid for a deliverable, it cannot be amended. Remember that all tasks must take place within the grant period of July 1, 2019 through June 30th, 2020. Other than that, there are no restrictions as to the timing of your deliverable tasks. In other words, if you have completed all required outstanding deliverables and have the required documentation, you are able to move forward with your payment request. If you have not met the outstanding deliverables, consider alternative options to satisfy your current deliverables moving forward. For example, if your deliverable is to execute a class, webinar, or performance, and you can do so virtually, consider doing that instead. Or perhaps you can change your outstanding deliverable to another task that you have already completed within the grant period. The second tab on the contract details page is the budget. You may want to consider amending your budget if you do not anticipate expending the funds in the same way due to programmatic changes. You may need to transfer funds between budget categories in order to reimburse previous expenditures. If you have a project budget and are worried about meeting the match requirement, consider transferring matching expenses to grant funds if you have exceeded the minimum match requirement. Any grant funds line item that is changing by more than 20% will need to be amended. If you are making any changes to a deliverable, it will mean that you will need to update the scope of work, as the scope of work is a summary of all four of the deliverables. These are all issues to consider when you are looking at amending your contract. Remember, we only want to do a change order if it is necessary, and you should make all changes at one time. If you find that you need to create a change order, the process is quite simple. First, let's return to the Grant Details page. Under the Payments section, you will see a section called Change Request. On the far right-hand side, there is a button that says Add Change Request. Once we click the Add Change Request button, this will take us to the Change Request form. You will need to complete all sections of the form before submitting. First, you will need to select the reason for your request. You may be selecting more than one option. You would be selecting either change to scope of work or deliverables. Remember that if you are changing a deliverable, you will need to update the scope of work as well. 
You may also be transferring funds between budget categories. You also have the ability to extend the end date of your contract to September 1st at the latest, but keep in mind that if you are eligible to receive funding in the 2020-21 grant period, that grant period will begin on July 1st, 2020. So for those grantees, I would not recommend requesting an extension. The second question asks if you are making any budget changes. Please note that this question controls your ability to edit the budget. If you do not select budget changes and you find that you are unable to edit your budget, just click back to this page and select the budget changes. Finally, you will input a brief narrative explaining first why you need to make the change request and then describing the changes to your agreement. These answers can be brief. You just need to give your program manager enough information to understand your changes and why they are necessary. Once you have completed all sections of this page, you will click continue to move on to the next section. You will notice that you are not able to edit any of the payments that have already been processed. However, any payments that have not been made will have an edit button in the actions column. In order to edit the deliverable text, click on the edit button. Once you are in edit mode, you will be able to change the text in the deliverable description and the documentation. Do not change the payment type or amount. Once you are satisfied with your changes, click the update button. Then you will click the continue button again. For this amendment, we will not be editing the budget. However, if we were, we would follow the same process. Each budget line item can be edited and you also have the ability to delete and add line items as needed. Keep in mind when you are editing your budget that you may have already accounted for some grant funds on the grant funds expenditure log. You will need to update your scope of work to match the changes you made to the deliverable. Once you are satisfied with your edits to the scope of work, click continue. This will take you to the review and confirmation page. Once you are satisfied with your change order, check the certification button and enter your electronic signature. Then click the Submit button. You will notice that you will receive a notification in the top right-hand corner that indicates that the change order has been submitted. And then if you scroll down on your Grant Details page, under Change Requests, you will see that there is a submitted change request listed there now as well. Once you have submitted your change request, please notify your program manager via email to let them know that you have done this. We are currently undergoing some changes to our notification settings and we are not receiving all notifications. Once your program manager reviews and approves your change order, you will be emailed an amendment. Please review the amendment before signing it. You will need to go into your grant details page under Agreements and Amendments and upload the signed amendment, similar to what you did with your signed contract earlier this year. Once your amendment has been executed, the changes will be reflected in the online grant system. Hopefully by now you understand what a change order is and are able to consider whether or not you may need to submit a change order for your organization in order to complete your 2020 grant. If you're still not sure whether or not you need to submit a change order, please reach out to your program manager. On the screen, you will see a list of current division program managers along with the disciplines that they manage. Keep in mind that many of us are working remotely at this time and email might be the fastest way to reach us. On behalf of all my colleagues here at the Florida Division of Cultural Affairs, we are thinking of all of you during this difficult time, and we are happy to help you in any way that we can.